Hey, what's up guys, it's Crafty Fox, and today we're gonna be building the E6 series Japanese Mini Shinkansen. It's a high-speed bullet train operated by JR East on the Tohoku and Akita lines, and they're manufactured by Hitachi and Kawasaki Heavy Industries. And here we have a seven-car formation. This is what you typically see. And this is a mini Shinkansen, so it does run on standard gauge track, but they're converted from narrow gauge, so uh, their bodies are narrower in width to fit tunnels and platforms in real life. Uh, but in Minecraft, it's uh, it should be 4.5 blocks wide, but you can either go 4 blocks wide like this, or 5 blocks wide like this. The 5 block wide, you can add more detail, so I guess it's better in a way, but 4 block wide maybe, I don't know, for some reason you think it looks better, because it is thinner and represents that narrow body shape and proportion. Um, I guess it's up to you. We're going to do the tutorial on the 5 block wide version. And uh, yeah, let's go take a look at this train. It's uh, red. It's very reminiscent of the E5 series Shinkansen. It looks a lot similar. Um, but yeah, here's what it looks like. And by the way, on the ends, this side has a lot more windows than the other end car, which is actually a green car. So if we go back over here, this one has less windows. And we have that green marking there, cause which is basically first class, so I guess these guys are more comfortable. And um, yeah, here's what it looks like on top. We got some roof detail as well. Some lines going across, and one interesting thing I learned about while making this train, it's actually a unique feature, they have these fins. I thought they would be like symmetrical per side, but no, there's actually like asymmetrical stuff here. So on this side, it's like back here, all the other side's right over here, so kind of like on a diagonal. And there's actually like another little tiny fin, but I couldn't quite fit it. It's like supposed to be like right there inside, but um, <laughs> we just fit out the outside. Um, and then we're gonna go to the other one. You'll see this is what it looks like when it's uh, raised up like that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. And thanks to Victor for commissioning this build and making this video possible. It would not be without him. Um, he's been commissioning a lot of the Shinkansen trains. If you guys are interested in commissioning for yourself, check out the link in the description. But anyways, uh, let's get started on this build. So for this build, what we're gonna do is I'll show you how to build uh, the first three cars of it and if you want to build the other cars I will just show you what it looks like from the side because you also need to have like that vent detail as well that's like different uh, for all of them so yeah we're gonna take a look at this car first car the second car then we got the third car here the fourth car the fifth car the sixth car and the last car, the seventh car, and then we're gonna go on the other side. Remember, this is a different, because it has less windows on this one compared to the first end car. So right there, what is this car number five? And then four, and then three, and then two, and then the last one right there. And also, if you wanna take a look at the roof detail, here's what looks like, you know, the pantograph, um, they are going to be facing different directions and one's folded down. So yeah, this is what the folded down version of it looks like. And those are all the line details. All right, so let's get started on the build by uh, grabbing some materials. We're going to take out a smooth quartz slab and stairs and block, red concrete, acacia slab, stairs, red glass pane, and uh, stone brick uh, stairs, black concrete. All right, so first off, we're gonna place a red concrete, two blocks above the ground like this. Acacia stairs to the side of it. And the upside down smooth quartz stairs underneath. Smooth quartz slab to the side. And then um, an acacia slab that's going to be um, diagonally up like that. To the side, we're gonna add in red concrete here. And we're gonna make it uh, four blocks long, so one, two, three, four. And then we'll add in um, red concrete here, four blocks long as well, one, two, three, four. And make this turn around like that. Then we'll add in two acacia stairs on a diagonal. And an acacia slab to the side of that. Then we'll add in uh, two red glass panes right there. Then two blocks wide, black concrete. 
And then to the side of this, we'll add in smooth quartz slab, a red concrete, and then upside down um, smooth quartz stairs facing towards the front like this. And the inside, we'll add in two smooth quartz um, blocks like that, smooth quartz slab here, and then smooth quartz stairs upside down, three blocks like that. All right, next up, we're going to add in uh, stone brick stairs two of them so the second one's going to be cornered facing towards the front just like that then we're going to add in two smooth quartz blocks here and then over here it's going to be a black carpet in the middle and then a black stone button right here and then three uh, polished andesite slabs here another one dangling up all right, and then inside it's going to be a red concrete. Just uh, make it two by two, like that. Smooth quartz block here, red concrete, and then make an L shape of caseous slabs like this, and then a two by two, just like so. Then two blocks wide, daylight detectors, make it blue, and then we'll add in um, this polished black stone. Uh, brick block, two blocks wide like that, two blocks wide of um, black carpet on top, and then two blocks wide polished black stone brick stairs just like that. Alright, then down here, we're going to add in a red concrete right there, make it four blocks long, so one, two, three, four, and then smooth quartz slab, four blocks wide. Then we'll add in uh, smooth quartz stairs, it's going to be um, upside down right here on the outside. And we're gonna make it uh, six blocks long, so one, two, three, four, five, and six like that. Then we'll make a smooth quartz block, two by two, two blocks wide, smooth. I mean, polish and slide slabs like that. And then red concrete, make it two by two. That add in smooth quartz blocks, two blocks there. And then we'll add in a smooth quartz slab here, and then another three slabs gonna be upper like that, and red concrete on the inside. Just like so, we got that nice red line. All right, after that, let's go down here, and we're gonna add in smooth quartz uh, stairs going all the way up to where, where we have that last red concrete, uh, just like that. We're going to add in two light gray carpets there, red carpet right there. And then back over here, we'll add in a black concrete, make it two blocks tall like this. And then smooth quartz stairs, top to bottom facing towards the back. Underneath, we'll add in a quartz block and then a polished blackstone brick slab. Then a smooth quartz block on the inside of that, just like so. And then on top, we're going to add in a red concrete here. And make a 2x2 two two red concrete. Then we'll add 3 blocks wide, red carpet here. And then L shape of acacia trap doors like that. And a side slab here, 3 blocks long. And then we'll add in this polished deep slate um, slab that's going to be seven blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we'll add in red nether brick slab, two blocks wide. And acacia slab here. Then we'll add in an oak slab there, and two acacia slabs. Then an oak slab, and then red nether brick slabs all along the sides of it and then acacia slabs all the way across for the rest of that just like so all right so back over here we're going to add in smooth quartz uh, block three blocks wide like that and then we're going to make a two by two of smooth quartz just like that and the inside you can add in black concrete two blocks tall and then smooth quartz stairs top of the bottom of that and two blocks tall, smooth quartz block. Smooth quartz block on the inside of this, and then a polished black stone brick slab on the outside, upper slab like that, and then um, smooth quartz blocks all the way across 
to the front like that. All right, then over here on this side, we're going to make a two by two smooth quartz block. And then smooth quartz stairs like that. And then a stone block like that. Then we'll go all the way to the back part. And we'll add in a stone block on the inside of this. And the outside is going to be um, a smooth quartz slab like that. And we're going to extend this part so it meets up with that stairs that we just placed earlier. So let's do that right now. So that it should be looking like that. And then we'll add in a black concrete on the inside of these windows. Um, just like that. And then for the top section, we're going to add in a uh, red carpet all across to the back side. Just like that. All right, so next let's go down here, skip two blocks and add in two blocks wide, polished black stone brick slabs. And then we'll add in over here, um, back to back, birch trap doors. Unless you found a reason to use iron trap doors. We'll do that and we're gonna make this window pattern. Just keep on doing that. Back to back trap doors and a diorite wall in between. Just like this. All right, so once we have that, uh, we're gonna add in smooth quartz um, stairs upside down here. And another one upside down, we're gonna make a row going all the way across uh, back to the other side. So let's do that right now. And over here as well, the bottom row here. And then once we have this area, we'll add in smooth quartz block uh, right behind that just to fill that in like so. I'll add in a stone bun right here in that little corner. All right, next let's go to the back and we're gonna add in um, a gray concrete block here. And then we're gonna make it a little L shape like that. And we're gonna turn the stairs here into, it's like a corner like that. So it leaves a little gap. And then we'll add in a polished black stone brick slab there. And then polish black stone brick wall three blocks tall and three blocks wide at the top. And then for the inside of this, we'll add in just a gray concrete. Yeah, just fill that in. Just like that. All right, so once we have this, we're going to copy everything that we did on this side and build the other half. All right, so once we have both halves, it should look like this. So first off, let's go on to this side. And we're going to go right where... This diorite wall is, go down, punch in two blocks wide here. Skip a block, punch in another one here. And then we'll add in diorite stairs in the gaps. And a site stairs in between there. Skip a block, three and a site stairs. And skip a block, three and a site stairs. Then we'll add in two diorite stairs. Uh, just like that. And the other side, Let's go right over here, go diagonally, and uh, we'll add in diorite stairs, andesite stairs, and then three diorite stairs. On the other side, we'll add in, we'll skip a block, two andesite stairs, diorite stairs, skip a block, diorite stairs, andesite stairs, and then two diorite stairs, skip a block, diorite stairs. And go on the edge skip a block and direct stairs like that all right cool so um yeah that's actually pretty much it on how to make this end car now i'm going to move on to the second car right here all right so this is going to be where they have the pantograph on top as well so uh, first off let's go right here add in upside down uh, smooth cord stairs right here and we're going to make it so it's 31 blocks long so extend it out 30 blocks. And on the ends, we're gonna add in a gray concrete like that. And we're gonna add it so it's like uh, cornered like that. And the other side, we can do the same thing here. Just corner it, add it like that. And then next up, we're gonna add in a stone block. Top of this here. And then a smooth quartz slab in front of that. And then smooth quartz stairs upside down the edge, and then a 
two blocks gray concrete like that. And we're going to extend the stone and the slab all the way across to the other side like that. As well as the stairs here. And then we're going to add uh, two gray concretes um, just like that. Then on top of here we'll add in 2x2 two two of smooth quartz blocks like that. Two blocks tall black concrete. And then smooth quartz stairs are going to be facing towards the back like that. Two blocks tall uh, smooth quartz like that. And then this polished black stone brick slab here. Smooth quartz block on the inside. And then we'll add in uh, black concrete down below. And then this black glass block right there. Then two blocks tall smooth quartz block. And then smooth quartz block here, black glass, and then black concrete like that. Alrighty, and let's go on to the other side here. Add in two blocks tall, smooth quartz, um, like that, and then three blocks wide at the very top. Then we'll add in an oak slab here, and then two red nether brick slabs, an acacia slab, and then this polish. Uh, deep slate slab and acacia slab here. Then we'll add, go on a diagonal, add two blocks tall of smooth quartz block like that. And then black concrete inside, black glass on the outside, smooth quartz right there. And I'm going to repeat this pattern here with the window all the way up to match up with the other side, however many windows that is. So that should be looking. Uh, like this, and then we'll add in the other side. It's going to be red carpet all the way across to the other side, just like that. And then down here, we'll add in a red concrete. It's going to be uh, two blocks wide, like that. And then we'll go back up to the other side. And then right here, um, add in that smooth quartz. Three blocks wide like that. Oak slab here. Then this polished deep slate slab. And then a tile wall there. Stone slab, tile wall again. And then polished black stone brick slab there. Or black stone. Okay, deep slate, deep slate slab. That's what I mean. And we're going to add that three blocks long underneath there. I'm going to add in another two slabs here. And then a case of slab to the side of this. And we'll extend that, these two slabs, so that they go all the way, meet up with the front area. So that it should be looking um, like this. All right, so after we've done that, let's go um, back over, over to this doorway here. I'm going to punch in a hole, make it two blocks wide. And we're going to add in two smooth quartz block and then two blocks wide polished black stone brick slabs like that. Then we're going to add in a stone button right there. And then we'll add in an acacia fence gate here. Another acacia fence gate dangling up. And then a lever right there so it looks like it's connected. And then an acacia trap door. Make that two blocks wide. And then acacia sign to the side of that. Alright, so after we've done that, we're to copy uh, everything we did on this side and build the other half. Alright, so once you have both sides, it should look like this. So let's go make the logo right here. Uh, we're going to add in um, iron blocks, two on a diagonal. Blackstone button right there. Upside down smooth quartz stairs, another smooth quartz stairs facing the other way, and then smooth quartz slab. And do the same thing on the other side, just uh, this direction. Uh, two iron uh, blocks like that, and then smooth quartz stairs, make an S shape, blackstone button, and smooth quartz slab like that. Alright, so next let's go down here, get a line up. After the second window, punch in a hole, two blocks wide. And we're going to add in um, diorite stairs. 
skip block diorite stairs inside stairs three diorite stairs inside stairs diorite stairs skip a block diorite stairs two blocks skip a block two blocks wide diorite stairs and on the other side all right so on this side we're to go to second window after the pillar go down here two diorite uh, stairs here skip a block five stairs diorite so one two three four five and site stairs diorite stairs the two and site stairs skip block two diorite stairs like that then we'll go um, over here and we're going to add in four polish and site slabs like that and the other side will do the same thing so four one two three four and then we'll add in polish and site stairs so that you know they're facing outwards here and then facing inside the middle so we're making the fins right now yeah facing outwards and facing inwards just so they look like that all right and then we'll go back over here right where this gangway is and i'm going to add in for this middle part gray concrete and then we'll add in three blocks wide polished black stone brick slot like that and then we're gonna you know copy this whole gangway design and we're gonna build the same thing right over here in the back um, just like that make sure they're all fixed all right so yeah that's pretty much it for you know the second car with the pantograph on top now we're gonna make the third car all right, so for this car, we're gonna add in a gray concrete here. And then upside down, smooth quartz stairs, two blocks tall. Smooth quartz slab here, stone uh, block there, two blocks tall of smooth quartz block, like that. And we're gonna extend this segment so that it reaches uh, 31 blocks in total. So it goes all the way across like that. Then at the very edge, we're gonna corner this second, like at the top stairs like that. Same thing on the other side, just like that. All right, and then on the roof, um, we're gonna add in, all right, and then for the roof, we'll add in uh, this middle part, um, two more smooth quartz block, and then uh, oak slab, acacia slab, then polished, uh, deep slate slab, acacia slab, then two red nether brick um, slabs, and then three blocks wide uh, red carpet like that. Then we're to copy this, and we are going to build it on the other side right here. And then we're to extend this middle area so that it reaches all the way across to the other side. Um, just like this then we'll go right over here and then we'll skip two blocks punch in two block hole here and then we'll add in uh, two blocks tall black concrete and then smooth quartz stairs so that they're facing towards the back go down here and I'm going to punch in two blocks wide and then add in smooth quartz um, <laughs> block in the inside of this and then a polished blackstone brick slab so it's going to be yeah, two blocks wide just like that all right and then we'll add in a stone bun right here red carpet on top punch in a hole here add in smooth quartz block inside and polish black stone brick solve on the outside red carpet on top and then punch in a hole again and this time it's going to be a black concrete block and then black glass um, on the outside and we're going to add in the windows so that they go all the way across so that we have like a two block wide you know section there so let's do that oh no and then we'll go on to the other side and we're we'll skip two blocks here punch in a hole add in a black concrete and then we'll add in black glass and uh, we're pretty much going to continue this pattern so it goes all the way across you know to the other side uh just so it looks like that 
All right, so once you have this, we're going to copy everything that we did on this side and build the other half. All right, so once you have both halves, it should look like this. And for this side, start over here, uh, take out dial right stairs and would account to the third window. So right here, go down two blocks wide, dial right stairs. And then we're to skip block and site stairs, two dial right stairs. And a site stairs, two die right stairs, and a site stairs, two die right stairs, skip a block, uh, die right stairs, cool. Then the other side, all right, so for this side, let's go count three windows here, go down and add in three um, die right stairs like that, skip block, and then three and a site stairs. Die right stairs, and then three anisite stairs, and then two die right stairs, and skip block three die right stairs, so it looks like that. Alrighty, so yeah, that is pretty much it for our, like the first three cars of this train set. And if you want to build the other ones, you know, you can just continue this and just modify it to fit each car. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. And thanks a lot to Victor for commissioning this build and making this video possible. If you guys are interested in commissioning for yourself, check out the link in the description. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.